Hey guys, this is Viper 6. Looks like my trailer arrived. This is the uh, Stinger XL112. Uh, it's $24.99, which includes delivery to uh, your closest truck depot in your city. So if you want to deliver to your house, it's an additional $75. And I opted for that because it is 330 pounds and yeah, by myself it's a little hard. If you hear some noise in the background, that's the garage heater. So uh, let's get into this and see what's behind the curtain. I don't know if you can see, but I've got my trusty little uh, helper over here. That's Rocco. So what you want to do is you want to feel for an area that's like, there's nothing there. So you're not cutting into anything. You don't want to risk damaging anything while you're cutting. The dog is getting a little sketched out. The first thing you're going to notice is that it's fully assembled. You literally have to put nothing together. And they also, because you're getting the XL version, it comes with a spare tire, which which are a first size. They used to have smaller tires on them, but uh, people were complaining. They said, well, we want the bigger tire and blah, 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 and this and that. And so they decided to go with the 12 inch rim and these uh, Carlyle tires. And for those that don't know, Carlyle tires are actually pretty good trailer tires. So we'll put this on the side. We'll see if there's a place to put it on the trailer while you're hauling it rather than, well, you can always throw it in the truck if you need to, right? And the, uh, the cool thing about these bearings is that they have a, pla uh, a rubber cap on the end. And it's not like the old school bearings where you have to remove a cotter pin, unscrew it, pull out the bearing, clean it out, repack it, put it, in, put it back in. This one has a zert that you just stick your uh, grease gun to it. And you keep pumping grease until all the old stuff comes out and you see the new stuff then you clean it up and put the cap back on and that's it super easy uh bearings to maintain and uh they recommend doing it every 3,000 miles which is no big deal really This is the bag of goodies you get. <clears throat> what you get is uh, a huge lock for your receiver. Now let's look into this. You get one of these locks with two keys and this will go on the rec on the receiver. You get one of these to lock your lever. And you get two receiver locks. One's a half inch, the other one's a five eighths inch to see whichever one fits your truck. <clears throat> and the good thing about this is that you get three keys and all these locks are keyed alike, so you don't have to fumble for different keys. 
that's pretty awesome in itself right there. Let's see what else is here in here. You get two. This one's for the rear because it's got this shock absorber in it. So the rear end of the bike can swing a bit. Same here. These are for the rear. These are for the front. I like how these work. They have the release right there, as opposed to some of them where you have to pull and then try and feel, you can't do it half the time. <clears throat> you get the straps that go with it, four of them, too small, too long. You get a cable lock, so you can run it through your bike and onto the trailer. They even give you an extra wheel. I guess it's going to go for the front. We'll have to install that. And what else is in here? My I love opening goodies. Oh, and you get a set of two, two chocks to put under your tires when you got it parked or stored. So let's put all this in here. Back in the bag. We just got some more snow here, so uh, and expecting some more, and the temperatures are going to drop to minus 20. So I won't be able to show you how it actually how you actually load a bike on it, but that's going to be a follow-up video. Let's continue cutting straps. Oh, they give you another strap here. Oh, they actually give you a tie-down strap. That's pretty cool. This is all the paperwork for the trailer. New vehicle information statement, which means I have to take this to registries and get a license plate for it. So we'll put this over here because this is quite important. <clears throat> I was going to cut that other strap. Good thing I saw there's a ratchet here. <laughs> This one holds it all together, so when you store it away, there's no risk of it trying to fold open. Even though it's locked in place in a lot of places, we'll put that there. More packing. What else did they do? Did they... Sometimes they, they zip tie the uh, trailer cord, right? Uh, like the, for the headlights and uh, for the taillights, I mean. So it's good that you check. Yeah, no, it's good. I see. Let me show, let me show you guys something. They actually bolted it to the pallet, so we'll have to remove those. Let's see if this moves now. Okay, that moves. Let's bring the camera over to the other side. Okay. Let's see if we can get it off this pallet and move that out of the way. Careful not to pinch your fingers while you do it. Oh yeah, this is going to have to go the other way. That's okay. We'll get it off first.
So, do I need to flip it around? Do I need to flip it around? pins back here. two pins back in. I need to remove two more pins. Wait, let me bring it back a bit. Okay, let's see which pins do I need to remove to make this thing fold. This one for sure. Oh, I need to put the chocks behind it or else you can't pull it. Hold on. They do recommend putting the chocks behind it so that it doesn't roll on you while you're pulling it open. And you gotta remember, this is not rehearsed at all. It's the first time doing this. locked So that's what it looks like when it's all pulled open. This is the ramp that is locked in place right now with this pin. It's got LED tail lights. There you go. At least it's got uh, turn signals on it, which are small LED turn signals. It's got small LED turn signals in the back and brake lights and side marker lights as well. well this is pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, so the other pin that's on the ground, which is pretty much the same size as, uh, let me see. Okay, so this one, once you're loaded the bike, you bring this forward and you lock it into place back here. And it stays like this and that's your marker lights and you have your bolts there for your license plate and all that stuff. <clears throat> Uh, 
to avoid it from folding when you have the bike on once you load once you have it open like this you feed this through here and you secure it and you're good to go the trailer there's another pin that goes here by the way in order for you to load a, a bike on it hold on In order for you to load a bike on it, you will have to have it hooked up to your truck so that it's nice and stable. And then there is a pin that goes here to secure it so it doesn't fold again. This pin here is to hold this down. I need to move this one too they just packed it so this will come forward and then this you have to adjust to the uh the height uh, the, the distance of your front tire so when you roll in it secures it there and against that that's pretty cool one thing i like is everything is very tight fitting so that it's actually quite cool that way so there's there's not going to be much loose stuff Oh, that wheel we saw before, that goes here. So that you can actually roll it around because it'll rest on that wheel and you can roll it around easy. Okay, so I managed to fold it over. It's a bit of effort, but not bad. Now we'll see if we can stand it up. Okay, I guess we need to put the ratchet strap on it so it doesn't fold open like that. Yeah, so far I like it. It's uh, I thought it was gonna be a little on the uh, on the thin side. No, it's actually quite uh, quite beefy. And uh, if you look at the uh, the XL, what they did is they uh, they uh, they made the the rear tire track much wider to accommodate some of those newer fatter rear tires on motorcycles so that was a pretty good deal from them awesome okay over and out next video when time permits and the snow stops flying is going to be uh hooking it up to the truck adjusting that front chalk and see if we can get uh, a motorcycle loaded on it the good thing about this one is from what i've seen is that chalk system you ride your bike on it and you can actually it'll hold it once it flips open it'll hold it so that you can get off the bike and apply all the straps you don't need two people one to hold the bike and the other one to secure everything down which is a big plus cool okay i found the elusive pin uh the thing i like about this system is like i said it's got uh the red button there and it's not only a release not only does it release the strap, it also retracts it. You gotta love that. Yep, I love it. Cool. There you go. Okay, like all done. They say to check all the bolts on the tires because they're torqued at 65 pounds. I will recheck those before it goes out on a ride. Uh, I'll check. Oh. Okay, on the earlier models, they had the fenders bolted on. These are welded on. And this is full powder coat coating, so it should be quite durable for a while, right? And if ever you need to do repaint it, it's, uh, it's not very hard to repaint, really. There you go. I installed that rear tire. That means rear tire. That, uh, that wheel. And that's how easy it is to, uh, to to move this thing around. It's like super awesome. You know why the dog is crying? Because he hates the Roomba. The Roomba's running in the house and it like totally sketches him out. Be a good boy. Here. Say hi to my YouTube friends. This is Rocco. Rocco the chicken. Scared of a Roomba, right?
Yeah. Yeah. You need a shave. We need to trim you. Anyway, later guys. This is Viper 6. You know me. I don't like to make super convoluted long videos on uh, how stuff works. So this is as condensed as I could do because I know everybody's, you know, doesn't have that much time. So this is it.